Jacob, have you decided what you're going to do about your accommodation for the next academic year? Are you going to stay where you are or look for something different? Well, to be honest, I'm still not sure. I love my current place. It's right in the middle of the campus and basically a short walk to everywhere I need to get to. So I don't have to take a bus to go to my lectures. And the best thing is that I can get up just 30 minutes before my classes start in the morning. Or even 10 minutes before if I feel like cycling and it's not raining. That sounds perfect to me. Why would you want to change it then? Well, I'd love to stay there for the next year or even two. But the thing is that I'm not sure I'll be able to afford it. My parents are giving me less money next year and I'm afraid my part-time job won't cover the rent. Oh, I see. Well, it sounds like you don't have much choice then, unless you want to work more hours next year. That could be an option, but everyone says the second year of our course is quite challenging, so it looks like I'll need to focus more on studying. I'm not worried about maths, and I'll be fine with statistics too, but our chemistry professor is quite strict, and I didn't do particularly well in my last exam. So I suppose it will be less work and more study for me next year. And how about you? Are you still going to share the house with your friends? Yeah, definitely. I really like it. And actually, Jacob, I've got an idea. One of my housemates, Rob, is graduating in two months, so his bedroom will be free starting from the beginning of July. Maybe you'd like to move in with us. The rent is quite reasonable too. That sounds really interesting. Did you say the beginning of July? Oh, that's no good. I've paid the rent for my place until the end of September, so I'd have to pay twice until then. I'll have to think it over. Thanks anyway.